You are now listening to the homily of Father McGowan, priest and member of the Discalced Carmelite Order. This service is provided by the Lectio Divina SMQ team, who invites you all to share this reflection and their love for the Word of God. The Gospel is the good news of salvation for mankind. That salvation is only through Jesus Christ, as Peter said, Lord, to whom shall we go? You alone have the words of eternal life. Greetings to all who are listening to this, and especially to the Lexio Divina SMQ family members. My homily is based on Isaiah chapter 42, verses 6 to 7, and Mark chapter 1, verses 7 to 11. I had the great privilege of living in Jerusalem for almost five years. And one of the highlights of my time there was baptizing someone in the River Jordan. It was the same place and the same waters where Jesus was baptized 2000 years earlier. I did not see a dove nor hear a voice saying, you are my son, the beloved, my favor rests on you. But the person I baptized had received the Holy Spirit and was now a child of God and co-heir with Christ. He was no longer the same person. One might wonder why Jesus needed to be baptized since he was without sin. We don't really know except that it marked the beginning of his public ministry. From now on, his life would never be the same again. Now he was called by the Father to serve the cause of right, to open the eyes that are blind, to free captives from prison and those who live in darkness from the dungeon. He was still the same person, but he was different. His baptism had changed him. So much so that when he began preaching, his relatives thought he had gone mad. But he hadn't, of course. He was as sane as anyone and saner than most. But the effect of his baptism was to change his life. He began to preach and to heal because the power of God was working in him. We too were baptised. I presume most of us were baptised as babies. Probably not in the River Jordan, but in a parish font. Once the baptism was over, we were never the same again. The spirit and power of God was in us. That power is made manifest in ways that are not always obvious. Most of the time, we don't see it. Indeed, if you are like me, you tend to see more your weaknesses rather than God's power. During this pandemic, I thought I should be above it all, that I should be strong and unaffected by the doom and gloom. I am an ordained priest, I said to myself. Surely I should be an example, someone who was not like others. And yet I am, and the opposite is true. I, like most people, feel down at times, bored, trapped, and fed up. Christ's baptism in the River Jordan was a turning point in his life, 
and so it is in ours. We don't suddenly become superhuman, above all pain and those things that afflict our world, especially now. No, God's grace given to us in baptism works in us in spite of our weaknesses and failings. The good we do in life is because of God's grace working in us. We too are called to serve the cause of right and to open the eyes of the blind. Let God work in you as he did in Christ. With his power working in you, you can do great things. This is what you were called to do and why you were baptized. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lectio Divina SMQ team hopes that this homily has helped you to deeply welcome the Word of God and gave you the strength to put the Word into practice where you are. You can send us your prayer intentions by emailing them to us using the following email address. Lectio, L-E-C-T-I-O, underscore, Divina, D-I-V-I-N-A, underscore, S-M-Q, at outlook.com. The Wednesday prayer group gathering at 6.30pm UK time and Father McGowan will pray particularly for these prayer intentions. If this homily has enlightened or touched you in any way, please share it with your relatives, friends, community and on your social media. Have a blessed week.